Welcome back, you beautiful people. I'm in sunny by Park Wales. Yes, and everyone loves to get a bit of sideways action when it comes to jumping. So today I'm gonna give you a few simple tips on how to whip. Few different ways to whip your bike. Now when it comes to dirt jumping, the technique is a little bit different to the ones that you would do on a mountain bike trail. We're on a dirt jump, a steep dirt jump, you carve up, you go straight out the lip and you do all the turning in the air with your body and the bike movements and all that. But today I'm gonna to show you a few simple tips on how to whip your bike on a mountain bike trail because a takeoff just like this one is mellow. You're coming in with a lot more trail speed compared to a dirt jump. And you can use this mellow takeoff to your advantage where you can come in like a snake and S bend and carve off the lip to get your bike sideways in the air and then bring it back with your hips. But that is a quick way of saying it. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna break it down into three simple steps. A bit like my how-to video on how to jump. If you haven't seen it and you're struggling with your jumping technique, I've linked it in the description down below if you wanna work out your jumping skills. Now, the first one is you're coming into a takeoff. You've got this jump in front of you, your obstacle in front of you. You're super comfortable with clearing it. I'm comfortable with that. I'll whip it. Come on then. Now it's time to whip it, to add a little bit of steez to that jump, right? So it starts off way back over here. Yes, it starts all the way over here. Now, as you get approaching the jump, the tabletop or the double that you prefer to jump or you're comfortable with, you're gonna come in and it all depends on which way you wanna kick out the rear wheel. For me, I'm comfortable with whipping it to the right. So my back wheel is going to the rider's right. It, the same technique happens on the, on the left hand side. If you're comfortable with doing it on the left, go with the left. Don't follow doing it on the right. Do what's right for you because this technique will help you either way. Now, when you're coming into it, you wanna carve the lip. And what I mean by carving is you're gonna go, say for example, you wanna kick the back wheel to the right. So you're gonna start off at the left of the trail. So a little bit left, and when you're coming in, you're gonna carve right and then go left. That is the first bit of advice I give you to get, the, uh, to get the whip out. You want to manipulate that rear wheel to go scrubbing off. Basically, you don't wanna pull off the lip and do it, you wanna scrub whip off the lip. So with a carve, you don't wanna go straight off carving like a humongous snake off the takeoff because it can end in tears if you're not ready for it. So you just wanna gradually start carving because if you come in with trail speed at quite fast depending on how big your jump is, if you're going from far left or from far right, carving left or right, it's got a tendency for your body weight to naturally go forward but you're turning towards nothing. So your body's just gonna go like this and you're gonna lose everything and it's not gonna be nice. So start off gradual. So we're in number one, we're carving from left to right to get the right wheel out, it depends on which way you wanna do it. But off the lip, this is where you carve. You don't carve too much, don't be too aggressive with it, just start off gradual. You carve the bike off, you turn the bars, but you're constantly looking down the trail because if you do this, you're, con you're just going into a 360. You don't want to do that. You want to constantly look down the trail. So look over your shoulder and be confident with this by looking over your shoulder. And if you feel like you want to look over there, look over there because you can see your back wheel. It's actually quite cool. But constantly looking down and then to bring the whip back, this is where you've got to bring in the force. You pull on the bars to bring it. And by pulling on the bars, you switch, you're, you're pulling your hips in line again with the front bar, with the front wheel to get into that landing. Now at this point, when it comes to the landing, so step number three, you find that your rear wheel is still gonna be drifting out slightly. It does happen, yes, uh, by learning this technique. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Your spokes will end up being a little bit loose, but it's all about manipulating that bike into shape again, into a straight line as quick as possible. Don't leave it out there for too long because you could have a high side on your case if you land completely like 85 or 90 because no, I've been there, trust me, it's horrible. And your back wheel will not forgive you for that. You'll take it all out of your pocket to go and get your new back wheel. But it's all about forcing that bike into line and down into a straight line, down onto the landing. 
All right, let's break those three steps down. Number one, you're confident with jumping that jump. You can clear it with ease. Now you're coming into it, you wanna carve off the lip. Depends on which way you wanna do it. You wanna carve off that lip. You don't wanna go too much straight away. It's all about of a progression thing. Carve a little bit. You wanna continue looking down the trail. That's number two. You wanna constantly focus that way because this is where you're gonna get your bike back in line. Number three is when you wanna to come to the landing, you wanna bring the bike forward. You wanna bring the bike in line again as much as you can to land straight. If you're a little bit out of squonk, make sure you bring your hips straight with the trail because that means the bike will follow in between. You'll be like a whip. So there we have it, how to whip. It's all in the hips. Hips don't lie, baby. Everyone loves a good hip. Bringing those hips out, pushing that back wheel out to the side, looking at the rear wheel, but focusing down the trail is key. Hopefully these few tips have helped you out. Kind of understand what it's like to whip or how it is to whip. Let us know in the comments down below if you're still struggling with a few techniques and uh, I'll get back to you as best as I can via the comment section down below. Anyway, check that out. He's just sent that to flat. Thank you very much for watching. I'm ready for a cup of tea just down there. Back Bike Park Wales and they've got a great cafe. See you next time. See ya.